Humans are the only species on the planet that have traveled these forbidding distances as small groups of hunter-gatherers just living off the land without a need to do so. All the other long migrating species of whales or birds, they do it on a cyclic manner or seasonal variations for reasons of procreation or, or food. Humans do not, have not done this journey for food. And, and in fact, it's even more than that. When I look at this path, I think, well, halfway through this huge journey through the Americas, a few hundred generations, enormous hardships to do that. Uh, they were somewhere in Southern California. Why didn't they just sort of say, oh, this is pretty nice. I'm going to stay in Santa Monica, you know, as it was then. Um, no, they went all the way to Patagonia from Alaska, a pretty, you know, amazingly cold and nasty place, to Patagonia, another cold and nasty place. Why? Um, nobody really knows, but there is a variant of one gene, um, the DRD2 gene. It's an allele of a gene that's found in everyone, and this variant of the gene is, tends to be found in 10% of the population. But the presence of this vari variation uh, increases with the proclivity of a culture to travel. And this research data shows that the proportion of this variant of a gene increases with the thousands of miles different cultures have migrated in human history. Now that's not evidence, you know, completely persuasive evidence, but it's indicative of the fact that this gene correlates with the propensity to explore, to travel for its own sake. And it's been dubbed the explorer gene. So obviously, human exploration, uh, it cannot be reduced to a single genetic component. Intriguingly, though, this genetic component in modern humans also correlates with risk-taking behaviors, you know, extreme sports, ADHD, some things that are you know, associated with curiosity, some are dysfunctional behaviors. So it's a plausible scenario that we are built to travel in ways that other species are not. And you can easily imagine that there's a sweet spot here. If, that, uh, if there was too much of that variation of the gene, then you'd have a small hunting gathering tribe where essentially everyone's wandering into the cave or off the cliff and they don't survive. And maybe if there's not enough of this, then they don't take risks and they're immune, they're uh, vulnerable to changes in fortune or climate. So this is the premise that humans do this because we're built to do it. And, and doing it off Earth is just an extension of the way we did it on Earth tens of thousands of years ago.